December 20th, and I don't even have a Christmas tree yet. I'm outside in the pasture looking for a little Charlie Brown Christmas tree to cut down with my loppers. It has to be something pretty small. It's probably going to be in the fence line. It's been a very unusual Christmas so far and probably will continue to be. We were going to leave this morning. We had packed up the car, arranged for people to watch our farm, take care of the cat, take care of the chickens. We got all the presents and had them wrapped for the grandchildren. And we were ready to take off on a long trip to Mississippi to spend time with family. And all of us in the family, the last thing we did was take COVID tests to make sure that we were fine. And shockingly, my husband, Adam, ended up with a positive COVID result. And uh, he has many uh, health difficulties and comorbidities for COVID and has to be very careful, which we have been. Anyway, the long and short is that we can't go. So we're staying home and I don't have the house decorated at all. There's nothing but a few candles around. And so I'm gonna try to give myself some Christmas cheer with a little Charlie Brown Christmas tree because I'm not hauling my six foot fake tree out of the storage building across the yard. But we're gonna get as much Christmas cheer as we can. So I'll show you what I find. I'm out here in our old garden. I thought about cutting a little cedar. We have a lot of little cedar trees that look kind of like this. And I found one that looks even better than that. But now I really think I'm just gonna cut the top out of this pine tree here. The whole thing, obviously, it's taller than I am. But I bet I could take the top out. We'll just have a few strong branches. But that might work. Let's see what we think. Well, what do you think? I don't think that's too bad for a last minute Christmas tree out of the pasture. Let me see. When I put it on the floor of the deck, it comes up to my shoulder. That's just the perfect height. I won't have to get out too many ornaments for it. I don't think I'll do any lights. They're a lot of trouble. All right, there's the Christmas tree. <laughs> there's the little Christmas tree set in front of our doorway. And I've really enjoyed it. I did get a few extra ornaments and uh, that was fun. I haven't gotten any for years. Now Leo is happy that we've stayed home and he's finally discovered a box. I've wanted him to be a box cat for so long and he finally did. He jumped in, he's been scratching at that box, and then before you know it, poof, he's gone. Here's our church. Those were the decorations for our Lessons and Carol service on December 18th. Now here are some cards that I painted. This one was for a special friend. This was for my mother last Christmas, and she liked it so much she made her own copies. And here's what I painted her this Christmas. She loves the little mouse. This is the birthday card I painted for one of my sons. A good friend of mine shared a little devotional that she read that really struck me. It's that line in the middle that says, when in doubt, do nothing. That's not how I am. I'm always, when in doubt, do something. And I thought, I really need to consider that this Christmas. There's a big cold front coming through. Yesterday, the rain came, torrential rain. Today, it's overcast and very windy and getting windier. And that means that all the pecans are falling. All the last pecans are falling. And so I'm out picking them up and I'm also stomping any pecans that are in the driveway where the surface is hard enough for me to stomp them and crack them because the, the chickens love pecans, but they can't break the nuts themselves. So if I break them, then they come and eat them. It's so cute. They're very friendly. So um, this may be one of the last days I gather pecans. I've been cracking and picking um, about a quart Ziploc bag of finished nuts every night. It's very fun. It's Christmas Eve morning. We had a big windstorm yesterday and it 
knock some limbs and stuff out of the out of the trees but um it's cold this morning 19 degrees fahrenheit that's minus seven celsius for you celsius people i'm gonna go out and take care of the chickens <laughs> those little the, the young roosters won't go into the coop at night and they're standing in the sunlight they must be freezing so i gotta get all their food and water together after these freezing temperatures but we're doing fine adam is making stolen so that we can have that tomorrow so i'm going to take you through that recipe this morning too I might call this the stolen Christmas. <laughs> We've never had stolen before. We started by peeling these clementines. Now Adam had some fruit, raisins and cranberries dried, and he soaked them in amaretto. No, no, not ice cream. That's the wrong bottle. Amaretto. Really delicious. And then of course he took those um, lemon, uh, some lemon peel and the orange peel from the clementines, and he, he cooked it down in some sugar water until they were caramelized. Oh my goodness, those are delicious on their own right there. And so all of that wonderful fruit flavor is going to go into the stolen, along with some marzipan. Now that's almond flour and um, confectioner's sugar. And um, this is just eggs with the dough. Here's the dough after he made it up. It's a wonderful buttery, eggy dough. It's a brioche. And after it rose, most of the day, he put it out on the breadboard and um, spread it out, lots of flour on it, so he could work it. And then he took all of that fruit and sprinkled it all over, along with little clumps of marzipan. Doesn't it look good? I, I just can't wait to try this tomorrow. It's going to have to rise overnight again. And here's all the fruit. And then he rolled it up into a big loaf that will rise and get baked tomorrow. So there's the stolen so far, and we'll be eating that tomorrow on Christmas Day. This is a happy, happy Christmas from our little house to your little house, wherever you are. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday with those that you love. Merry Christmas.